Hello YouTube, I'm Music Kev, and last time I just lost KG. This time, we're finishing this. Alright Woody. Give it to him. Why with the crits? Okay. That's one down. Okay, so grass type wasn't affected against it. So, you know what? I don't know what it's going to use, so I'm going to roost. Ha! <laughs> he got very happy. He healed. I guess that's kind of amusing. Okay, he's just going to stick on the razor shell then. It's a very good thing I healed. Um... I'm thinking he's part bug, because he looks kind of bug-like, right? That would ex also explain the grass weakness. Okay. So he's a bug water type. Well done, Woody. <sighs> I see. Great work, I guess. How can you call it great work when I lost one of my favorite Pokemon? Kuzma, what's wrong with you? Now's the time for your vaunted team to lose, let loose, and destroy everything. This music have right? I remember you as someone I'll be happy to beat down anytime. Don't mess with the boss, yo. You don't want him to get serious. But I lost to Sidwai in the process. I lost KG. Those are some nice moves. I can feel my soul shaking. I almost forgot to give you something super important. Cousin. This is a seat, Chris. Oh, come on! <laughs> no! That's... That's just sad. If you want to see that move in action, you're going to have to YouTube it on someone else's channel because I can't use it. The mask... Molan gave you that to you, right? I'll take it if you don't mind. I'll make sure that it gets mass, mass royal safe and sound. So what happened to Lily? You lose her somewhere? I'm right here. Oh, that's right. I sent her off with our Acerola. Acerola. And how is probably at a Masala this summer, right? You fought those skull people? Just thinking about them makes me worry. They're sure like, I sound like a scared group. You think? I don't know. Exchanging a few moves in battle is the quickest way to get to know someone by book. We're going to head up Mount Lanakilla. Uh, we've got to make sure the Pokemon League gets finished and everyone has a chance to find uh, their own perfect move. Keep training hard on your island challenge music, Kev, and one day you'll make it there. <sighs> Music Kev, music Kev, you're sure not, be sure you're not pushing yourself too hard. You made it through Sophocles' trial, huh? It's great. You can make it on the next trial past Rule 11. You can take through Tapu Tapu Village, you know? You get lost in your way, ask a police officer for directions. They're here to serve, right? No, Lily, you have come in with me to do some shopping. <sighs> okay. Um, guess Route Eleven's my next stop. But first, the burial, and I think this is where I'm actually gonna. I know I said on the last episode that the um, it was gonna take place there, but this is where we um, where we show the. Uh, show the show the um tribute go ahead and do that my dearest kg i know you chose me at the beginning but i know you did not choose this this is the saddest one that i've yet to do since i've known you the longest one day we'll meet again my friends one day okay after that um I've now got Gordo back on the team. 
He is tremendously behind the rest of the Pokemon on here, but that's all right. Um, I'll train him off on an off-screen session, or I'll train him a little bit while we're here. I will attach him... Oh, I can't use the Snorlium Z. Oh, okay. He has to know Giga Impact in order to use that Z move. Good to know. Um, I'm going to do a quick heal. Alright, moving on to Route 11, but more properly, the um, area beyond Route 11, because I've already been on Route 11. I think it's going to be a while before Snorlax learns Giga Impact. So you know what, in the meantime... Um, you know what, I'm going to keep the Silk Scarf on him, because it boosts his normal moves. Um, I don't want to waste time with too many wild Pokemon on this episode, especially since I kind of forget where my first episode ended, or first half of this episode ended, and it's going to be a little bit weird due to the um, longer episode for... Oh, you know what? This looks like a fair fight. Gordo can probably take him. I like how it looks like it's just bouncing off of him. I am still very upset about KG. You have no idea. To lose my starter and what? I'm like, I was, well, at least I got to see him grow up. At least I got to see him through all these, um, the majority of the game, I guess. Or what is what I'm guessing, because I mean, I'm halfway through the third island now out of four. Maybe five if you want to count that weird one. Okay, yeah. Oh, the ghost type trial. You know what that reminds me of? KG. Who just died. Ugh. What is this? Okay. This is a new area, so I can catch a new Pokemon. Interesting. Greetings, Music Kev. Well met. I was seeing you. We gotta travel about Ula Ula. You gotta go with a stride with Mudsdale. No call for hesitation. Consider my thanks for uh, what happened on Akala Island. It's remiss not me not to register when you met one another in Mali. I was just taken back by Aunt Lillian. How lovely it was. She escaped me. Oh, interesting. By no means was I waiting for a time when you were in trouble. If you seek the next trial, go straight on through here to Tapu Village. We're cheering for you on your island challenge. Um, you know I'm just going to page that horse back here, right? Well, I guess I can't go there. Rough path, but Mudsdale Gallop will get you right through. He's the kahuna of Route 12. Hilarious. Awesome. Burn heal. Okay. Got another piece of Zygarde. I really do hope that I catch a Pokemon that is new on this route. And I really do hope that it's also one that is unique to this region. Let's see what I run into. Geodude? Mudbray. Oh, see, I heard his cry right before I ran into him. That's cool. Okay. I think I can... S no. No. He knows double kick. Not even gonna risk it. Not gonna even risk it. 
can't afford to lose two Pokemon in, well, not one episode, one playthrough. Or one play session, I should say. Hmm. Interesting that you didn't use the, um, you know, the move that would have been super effective against me. How is he faster than Mudbray? Alright. I'm going to use my ears this time to determine whether or not I should encounter a Pokemon in this area. That's different. That sounds like something different. Yes! Awesome. Okay. I can take... I'm okay with this. I was really hoping to catch this guy. So, I'm just gonna try to hit him with a quick ball right up at the bat. Because... I have this bad feeling that he's going to try to self-destruct on me. Huh! One shake cut! I've heard about that happening. I just didn't realize that it would. <laughs> awesome. I've got a Geodude. Let me see if my theory is right about his hair. I was right. Rock electric. Its body is a magnetic s stone. Iron and sand attaches firmly to the portions of, this, of its body that are p part particularly mar magnetic. Yeah, we're going to give him a nickname. Um, let's see. Well, I have Mario on my team. Well, Mario's the same type as him, isn't it? I really don't know what I want to name him. Um, I'm going to name him Buzz. Because he's got that little buzz cut thing going. And, um... He's an electric type, so... I'm going to actually add him right to my party. I'm going to swap out Gordo. Sorry, Gordo. i put the silk scarf in my bag. Alright. So, I mean, it gives me two electric types, but... Um... But I should be okay. And I will be doing some grinding off screen to get him up to up to snuff on the rest of the team. I wonder if this is like areas that you can encounter a Pokemon. Two two team skull members, huh? Well just in case I don't want to mess around. Well you know what? We'll put Woody up there you know you know what we'll use Charlie. We'll have, um, Charlie as my secondary. Hi, guys. Oh, no, they're punk members. They're just, they're just punks. I just forgot that punks look a lot like Team Skull members. Croc Croc. Okay. Panchan breaks the mold. Charlie skulls. I didn't even look at what Buzz's ability was. I'm going to switch him out anyway, but... Let me check his ability here while I'm at him. Oh, it's sturdy. Okay. So even if he does get smacked by a pursuit on his way out, um, he won't die to it. That makes me feel a lot better. Um, is it safe to put in a flying type? Yeah, it is. Okay, Charlie, you on the other hand, you're going to go ahead and scald Croc Rock. Interesting. Maybe I could have kept him in. I mean, with his ability sturdy. I would have ignored, basically ignore, ignored the first move. 
Oh, Buzz already likes me. Interesting. Because he gained a boosted attack. And just scald the pan Pancham. But I think the drill pack's gonna hit first, yeah. And down he goes. Okay. Charlie. Buzz. Um, real quick, I'm gonna check on Buzz there. And see how much he likes me. Well, I know how much he likes me. He likes me a lot. There's another Zygarde piece. And this looks like a little off-ramp that I can't ride Mudsdale through. Yeah, it is. Interesting. Hi. Okay, Rising Star. Tortuga. Buzz, do you even know any electric moves? I haven't really looked at your move set. He knows Thunder Punch. I'll take it. That's a cool look for Ancient Power. Am I gonna knock him out? No, I'm not. Okay, Ancient Power is a rock type move. I don't want to switch in anybody who would be weak against that, but I'll switch in Volley. I was hoping the Buzz would be able to one-hit KO him, but that just wasn't the case. Yeah, like I was going to keep my Pokemon in there for that. I mean, I guess I have in the past, and that was just a stupid mistake. But if my Thunder Punch landed before his his attack, I might have considered it. Ooh, Stealth Rock. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll get rid of self-destruct. See, I was right. He could have used self-destruct. It's a good thing I hit him with that quick ball right off the bat. Is he going to evolve already? Yes, he is. You know what, guys? I think I might break the no-trade rule for the sake of getting him to evolve to his final form. Because, I mean, I'm technically getting him back. Huh. Oh, interesting. You can see, like, the gold shining through. Yeah, guys, seriously, I'm probably going to break the rule for the fact that it would evolve. Yeah, I think I will. But, unfortunately, I'm also going to have to wait till Artistical catches up with me. Um, <laughs> so let me do a little bit of um, healing first of all I get him back to full health and he'll be fine and let me see if I can make him hold something too um, let's see I guess I can have him Use the Electrium Z. I guess him and Pikachu can both hold, or Raichu, Zuzu can both hold it at the same time, which is interesting. Lots of places for wild Pokemon here. Oh, Torkoal! I like Torkoal. Yeah, look at like the little gold filaments on there too. Well, Torkoal's a, f I think he's pure fire? Unless he's a fire, um, I'm a little bit worried about that. I think he's pure fire. Let's him with a rock throw and see for sure. If he's fire, yeah, he's just pure fire. Can I survive it? I can survive another one of those. Even with his curse.
It's just gonna make it a little bit harder for me to hit him. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of training for Buzz off camera. Okay, so there was the path with out Mudsdale. There's a path with Mudsdale. You know what? I'm just realizing too that I need to always keep him in tip shop top shape. Otherwise, he runs the risk of fainting. But the fact that he's. I think he still has sturdy. Let me double check that. Because I could be putting him in danger unnecessarily. Yeah, he still is sturdy. So as long as he still is sturdy, I think we should be okay here. I really have nothing to fear as far as trying to use him as my only battler. Moves with high accuracy and moves with high power. I really hope... We don't use moves like, um, I don't know. Okay. Porygon. There's the off chance I beat him in one hit. Special attack one. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to hit him with a Thunder Punch. Okay, use Magnet Rise to get off the ground. Cool. One more Thunder Punch. I think that's a move with high accuracy. Good job. Magneton. Okay. I want to switch into Volet, Volet for this one. <sighs> All right. After this battle, I think I'm going to call it. Um, I'll explore the rest of this little section on the next episode. I don't know how much training is going to take place between now and then. But hopefully it's enough for... Um, you know what? I'm gonna just, also, just going to say it. No training will take place between now and then. Buzz is going to... The only thing that's going to change is the Buzz will be liking me and get the boosted experience points. Anyway, stick around to see how Kelly does starting, or Artistic Kelly does starting out in this episode. Or starting out in this huge, clearly huge route. Oh, there's another route involved here. And there's a geothermal plant. There's going to be a lot to explore here. I'm Music Kev. And this has been Pokemon Sun Nuzlocke Challenge. See you next time. Alola, Artistic Hell here. And speaking of Team Skull, looks like the boss has it in for Kukui, and my question has been answered. The end game is to take down everything that makes the Alola region cool and different than the others. The end game is to destroy what makes this game different and more interesting than its predecessors. You know what, Guzma? I won't have it. This is the first Pokemon game I truly enjoyed for a long time. I won't let you bring it down. Yikes. That first Pokemon was terrifying. I had no idea what it was. I had out Bud, Mudsdale, and it used Shell Slice, or whatever it's called, water type. I was terrified. Yay for overleveling! Needless to say, I switched him out fast. I brought in Medley because it looked like a bug. I was right. One drill peck did it in. And I was able to use her again against the next bug. Yeah, that's right, Guzma. I'll take you on any time.